a glass jar and William a flask, both empty. All right, the girls will be collecting honey, the perfect sweet to end our feast. The boys will go the other direction to collect olive oil that we'll need later. <laughs> Yay, I love honey. <laughs> Okay, so where do we go to find the beehives? I know. My papayas told me all about bees. Great, let's go. Wait, Izzy, here. You'll need this if you find any tokens. Talib hands me the map as I turn to Pax, but I realize she's already skipping into the flowers, and Lee's right behind her. Wait up. I run to catch up and then walk beside Lee. Pax is skipping ahead playfully. The sweet smell of flowers tickles my nose. Lee, look. The cloud is still leading above us. Oh, yeah. I saw it split into two. The other half is guiding the boys. Oh, it's nice having its cover. It gives me comfort. Girls, look over here. We're getting closer to the beehive. <gasps> how do you know? See how they're all together with barely any pollen on their legs? They've just left their home to collect. Aren't you worried about getting stung? I've never really liked bees. Mm, yeah, they kind of scare me. I was like that before, but not anymore. The further we go down the trail of flowers, the more buzzing we hear. Bees zip around us. I watch as a honeybee snuggles itself into a flower and then pops out with its head covered in pollen. <gasps> hey, Pax, I think I see it. I think I see it too. Running to a large oak tree, we approach a hole opening into the trunk. We peek inside to find a golden shimmery hive filled with honey. She removes the cap from the glass jar before holding it under the waterfall of glittering honey. As the jar fills, I hear Lee gasp. <gasps> we glance at her, finding honeybees climbing on her floral dress. Oh, oh, now they think I'm a flower. <laughs> They'll figure it out, don't worry. <laughs> While Lee tries to not startle the bees on her dress, I look at our jar now almost full of honey. But then I see a chunk fall into the jar. <laughs> what was that? Hmm, I'm not sure. Reaching into the sticky liquid, Lee takes something out, pulling the honey with it like taffy. She holds it up to us and we gasp. <gasps> the next token! Oh, and I have the map! Yeah, but you probably want to get all that honey up before we're placing it on the map. <laughs> Lee looks around like she's looking for a napkin, but doesn't find anything. She shrugs. <laughs> well, I know one way to clean it. She tosses the token into her mouth and sucks it free of honey before taking it into her fingers again. Clean. <laughs> well, that works too. Lee slips the token into its place. The guiding cloud above us thunders. We look up. Well done. You have found the next token of truth, the honey. God's word is sweet, like honey soaking your tongue. God's wisdom is sweet, like honey dripping down your fingers. God's plan is sweet, like a land flowing with milk and honey. God satisfies with his sweet truth. We all run with excitement fizzing in our bodies, <laughs> pollens tossed up from the blooming flowers as we brush past until we see the gardener clearing the table of bread. Panting, we meet him. He sees us and grins. Welcome back. Looks like you beat the boys. We found a jar full of honey. And the token. Well done, girls. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Now dip your fingers into that honey while we wait for the boys. We lick the honey from our fingers as we sit at the table waiting for the boys to return. We hear the leaves rustle. We turn and see the boys running to us with the flask dripping with a liquid. Look what we found. It is 100% true, and it is sweet like honey. Sometimes we think that the Bible is too long or too hard to understand, but that is a lie. The Bible is sweet like honey to our lips. Psalm 119 says, How sweet are your words to my taste. They are like honey on our lips. All who taste of this sweet honey Bible will find nourishment for their souls and strength for their days. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Find His sweetness in the secret place, your alone time with God, and share His sweetness with others in the meeting place. 